Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Maurice from Editors Depot. Now, this is a really awesome intro template. We really fell in love when we saw it. It's actually really cool, but it does require a lot of editing, and it does require both After Effects and Cinema 4D. Now, if you don't have these two things, you can just hit up editorsdepot.com forward slash store, and we do have a wide variety of products for you to request, and we'll edit them completely for you with whatever you need, really. You know, just make sure you go to editorsdepot.com forward slash store if you do not know how to edit this template and you want something similar. But for those of you who can continue with this, and let's go ahead and actually get started. All you're going to want to do is simply open up your Cinema 4D version first. You always want to open up Cinema 4D first. And after you do so, you want to open up these two text layers that you can find in here. And you want to replace the text with whatever you want. We're going to write depot. Let's give me a minute. Now once you do so, you're going to notice it might or might not fit. Let's assume it does not fit. So what we want to do in that case is simply drop the height. Now we want to drop ours to 140 and see if that fits. Okay. And then you just look through the entire animation. Now it does look like it fits now. So let's actually go ahead and move on. If you do want to change the color, you simply double click on this material here and you move it so it fits your needs. Now there's a couple of colors you might going to want to change. So we're going to change it to red for tutorial's sake. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now it does look red, it does look pretty fancy, so that's actually keep it like that. Now you want to open up your Cinema 4D render settings, and you want to come to save. And what I suggest you guys all do is change it to QuickTime Movie, and make sure you save it something you can remember, just in case your desktop or wherever you're saving it is cluttered. So we're going to rename it Render Tutorial. And then we're going to hit the orange button here, and we begin rendering. Now we've already rendered this video, but for tutorial's sake, we're just going to stop it and go ahead and move to After Effects. We already have a file ready waiting for us. So after we open up Adobe After Effects, all you want to do is open up the folder that says Intro, and inside of it, open up the folder that says Intro one more time. You notice two things. The audio is missing and the template is missing. The template, we can replace right now. The audio, I want you guys to get a little creative because you know the audio was not included in the zip file so I just encourage all of you to go look for a song whatever song you want and go ahead and slap it on there but we're gonna continue just a little you know heads up all you want to do is double click the intro and then replace it with render now we named ours render.mov so that's what we're doing now guys as you can see the template has been you know you can see the entire template you can see the plugins you know taking action so our pretty much our tutorial is done here all you want to do is simply add to render a queue if you're on an adobe cc now guys hope you guys appreciate this tutorial remember like comment subscribe do all that stuff we really appreciate you guys watching these videos leaving thumbs up and we try to reply to every single comment for now on so go ahead and leave a comment down below ask us how our day is going we'll go ahead and reply no matter what you say hope you guys have an amazing day my name is maurice this has been Editor's Depot. Take care, guys.